I talked to Callie, got a general picture of what happened. Okay, and you also read her police statement? Yes. Yeah, I did. Okay, I don't see how that incriminates her. Well, she admitted fault. Yeah, for getting in the car with Troy Jones and not for causing the accident. That's how you and I read it. But any admission of guilt is open to manipulation in court. <sighs> just listen, we're up first. For now, let's just get her home. Okay, thank you. All rise for the Honorable James Eskin. <laughs> Court calls Callie Adams Foster. Okay, young lady. I see that you've been before the court a few times, but let me refresh your memory. I'm to assume that the petition against you is true and determine the best place for you to reside while awaiting your jurisdictional hearing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Your Honor, I'm representing Callie. Uh, I'd first like uh, to just... Let me save your breath and the court's time. You're going to argue that Miss Adams Foster has a stable, loving family. Your mom's a cop, et cetera, et cetera. This guy, you're going to argue that she's a juvie frequent flyer and that because she ran away from this very stable, loving family once before, she's a flight risk. Is that about cover it? Yes, Your Honor. That was before she was adopted. And like I said, I have read her files. I find the charges against Miss Adams Foster dubious, but we can't deny that she's run before. So she'll await the next hearing in juvie. Anything else? Yes, Your Honor. Prior to a jurisdictional hearing, we'd like to call a fitness hearing. Your Honor. They are within their right to do so. Schedule that with a registrar. Next case. What's the fitness hearing? Miss, I want 